Metal's here, ready to load into the dinghy. Have a New Year's Eve. Good to see you. Come on, Hi. You see me? Come on. Hi. Nobody's here. No one's here. Pick up it's a crazy. It's crazy. Hello. So, uh, do the dishes in seawater, and then uh, if I'm feeling sophisticated, I rinse them in fresh water. I mean, here I'll, I'll rinse them in fresh water, fresh water. But at other anchorages, oftentimes I just rinse them in seawater. It's like whatever. French but, um, water is better. Whatever. And uh, yeah, I just keep that little bucket of seawater out on the deck, and anytime I have a dirty dish, I just toss it in there and then just knock them out. Easy. Also, then you don't take a chance of depleting all your fresh water out of your tank. It's easy to like forget you're not at home and run more than you would. Me and Mental are about to uh, go hiking, go shore. Just had a snack. I promise that you'll see more of her and less of me because you've seen plenty of me on this trip. She doesn't want that, but that's how it's going to go down. Yeah, we'll about that. Oh, no! Peace. She's just... What are you doing? I'm washing, uh, I'm uh, cleaning up, making some coffee. Just got off the Catalina Express. Yeah, how long did it, how long was your passage? Two hours. Because one, it was foggy, and two, we had to stop in Avalon first. I guess no winter they do that, huh? Yeah, it's possible that they do it all the time. I just took last time. Turn it off. No. Last time I took, I only went back on it. Yeah. Which would mean this would be the second stop. Well, when I went for and my then, dive trip, I think. Wait, we, is that right? We, yeah, yeah, when I went to the dive trip, we went there first, and then they were continuing. Yeah, I think so. that's probably, but because last time I only took it back, yeah, yeah, I was sense. the second stop, yeah, and then yeah. I, and then straight to uh, San Pedro. So, so yeah, coffee on the boat. Coffee. Catalina Express treated me to a few half and half. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna live large. New Year's Eve, perfect end to a perfect, perfect year. Probably one of the most important years of my life. Can I get a mug real quick? Mitchell living large on the boat. <laughs> I had one condition. I would come out here as long as the hammock was arranged for. Hammock life. Hammock life. That's my, that's my aspirational bi autobiogra <laughs> autobiography <laughs> title. So nice. I'm living my best life. <laughs> the water's so clear too. You can see all the way to the bottom. You probably probably can't see it because of the the reflection, but it's so crazy clear. Go in the troll cave. Okay. You go first so I, I know if it's safe or not. Ah! <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> wow, it's really cool though. Yeah, it looks man-made though. Somebody wrote something. This itself is religious. It demonstrates a what? Sacred space. Sacred space. Mm
So, New Year's Day. We're tied up uh, on a mooring, mooring Kilo 4 at Isthmus Cove. Um, had fun last night, went and got invited to have dinner on our friends uh, J42, um, Noah and Alex. Um, Alex doesn't like video, so if you're watching this, Alex, you're not on this. Um, but uh, I, I'm definitely I'll have Noah on. I would like to tour his boat sometime soon, and some of the other boats he's a skipper on. So, um, but they invited us over. We had a great night um, talking, you know, about sailing and everything. They spent nine months um, cruising in the Sea of Cortez, and so they had some fun stories to tell us about that. But uh, we're all old people, so we. Um, <laughs> We were back at the boat. I think we went to bed at what time? 10 o'clock, you know, rang in the new year asleep, which was pretty good. Uh, I was pretty beat up uh, by the time 10 o'clock came around from the overnight passage the night before. So, um, but it was nice. Start the new year out. You know, I got up bright and early, watch the sunrise. It's a good start. So, right now we're having coffee. Enjoying this completely vacant lot of Isthmus Cove, which you'll never see it like this unless you're here on January 1st or December 31st. <clears throat> um, today there's like pretty decent wind around in the afternoon, so we're not gonna we're gonna leave at like one or something and uh, try to sail home. Some good wind should be cool. So, but I'm gonna go ashore, get some huevos from Cheros. Pretty excited about that and uh, just um, enjoy a peaceful New Year's Day and then uh, sail home, get back to real life. I gotta be at work tomorrow morning. Uh, I have a job, I'm employable. So uh, that's that. Maytal's here in her waterproof pink suit. It's very wet here on the boat, turns out. Um, what else? I just woke up. I just woke up. She's not having it. Not having it. I'm not going to talk so much this year. She's not, she's not going to talk so much this year. Let's see how that goes.
happening up there? What spout patrol? Spout patrol. What are you looking for? Anything that's spout. Spoutish? Spoutness? Spout <clears throat> Spout like uh, application. Spout. Anything beyond the fog. We were sailing, but we were only doing less than one knot, so now. The Iron Genie is helping. And HAL 2000. And you notice that the compass reading is the exact opposite as the actual bearing. It's the only way it works for some reason. Look at that fog right there. The wind was real light and I decided to try to get a drone flight from the boat um, of us sailing because it was nice. We were doing a couple knots. Um, set the drone up. As soon as I lifted off, a gust hit us and blew it into the sheet and then into the sail and straight into the ocean. So lost my expensive, beautiful drone into the sea, a burial at sea, but I'm glad it happened at the end of my trip and not the beginning of my trip. Uh, so I got some footage for us. Um, but now the winds have stood up quite a bit. I think they're only going to increase as we reach uh, the mainland. But um, yeah, we're doing like six knots right now, which is good. It's faster than I would be doing with under, under motor power even. But we had uh, a pretty fantastic um, trip over. We, there was like a super pot of dolphins that were dispersed across a wide area. So as far as we could see, we could see dolphins. And a number of them came over and played with the, uh, played with us. And uh, so now we're just gonna bear the rails and sail into home and uh, put the boat to bed. It's been uh, an amazing trip.
Africa. Photo bomb. Boat is dirty. I know the boat's dirty. I'm it's been under a massive point. <laughs> He's like a really good day. Oh, he's catch. eating them as he's going. <laughs> nice one, Walter. Good catch. Good catch. Oh, yeah. wow. All good right, catch. go finish it up. All go right. get the recovery. Walter, Ready? come here. Go get it. That was like the coolest thing he's ever done. There we go. He's helping. Everybody's helping. Oh, God. <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> 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 what are you laughing at? The, the auto.